Hello and welcome to part 2 of installing software on Peppermint 8. Today I will be looking at installing browsers. If we look under internet in the start menu you will see that it has Chromium web browser installed as default. You can quite easily install an alternative browser by going to system tools Going back to our software manager, input the password, some people may prefer Firefox, so just type Firefox, press enter, and it comes up first on the list, just double click it and click install but I'm not going to install Firefox Chromium is the open source version of Google Chrome now you may wish to install Google Chrome if you want to watch something like Netflix which you can't do on Chromium so I'm going to show you how to download and install Google Chrome from the internet so firstly you need to open your Chromium browser type in the search bar Google Chrome press enter And it will give you the option to download now. It should detect what operating system you are using. So if you click on download Chrome, you can select at the top what version you need as Peppermint 8 is based on Ubuntu which is based on Debian you need a 64-bit .deb file unfortunately Google no longer provides a 32-bit version so we'll leave that as it is accept and install You can now select where to save it. It's going to save it in downloads. That's fine. Click on save. And now we wait for it to download. Okay, now it's downloaded. We can close the browser. Go to our files. go to downloads and then we have Google Chrome downloaded now to install it just double click the package installer will open and this is the GDB package installer which will sort out any dependencies and install any additional files that are needed it says at the top all dependencies are satisfied install package is now highlighted so click on install package last for your password Now the package installer will install Google Chrome. Once that's finished you can close 
This is at the bottom, installation complete. We can close that one. Now if we go to the menu, go to internet, we can see Google Chrome is now installed. Go into untick default browser and you also have the option of sending usage statistics and crash reports to Google if you wish. Well, I'll untick that, say OK. And Google Chrome will open. I'm now going to sign in. So once you've signed in, all your bookmarks, etc. can be synchronized with Google Chrome and Chromium. If you had problems looking at some websites in Chromium, strangely by installing Google Chrome it may solve the problem. In Chromium I had problems with ITV3 wouldn't display. Come on in. I panicked. I was afraid the loan offer would ex But now in Google Chrome that's working fine. So if I close down Google Chrome and go back to Chromium. Let's have another look at ITV3. Previously I used to get a box pop up saying that I need to check my settings. So let's see if it now works. Yep. Come on in. So now that's working in Chromium too. You can also install other browsers the same way. Um, one of them is Vivaldi, which I believe is a reincarnation of Opera. You can download and install that very simply. Just download the deb file, double click it, and the package installer will take care of installing the program. And that's it, just a short video to show you how easy it is to download a deb file from the internet and install it using the package manager which will sort out all the dependencies and any additional files it requires. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.